Hello everyone, periods. If you've got a uterus, it's probably something that you've had to deal with. They are not fun. But add being in a field, in a tent with portaloos and no hot water, it's just a whole other ball game. I'm pretty open in my vlogs about when I've started my period at a festival and it isn't fun but it is something you do need to deal with without getting in the way of you actually having fun and hopefully not missing out on the actual festival. So in today's video I'm going to be going over a few tips and tricks on how to deal with periods at festivals. Before we continue, a couple things. First off, Drop a like on this video if this has been any help to you. Drop a comment of any tips and tricks you might have. And, and also go drop a subscribe for more festival content as well. Quick disclaimer as well, if you haven't already realised, I'm going to be talking about periods, period products, uteruses, and all of that lovely, lovely stuff. So if this is no relation to you, or you have no interest, or it gives you the ick or something, please head over to my channel where there is so much more festival content available there, whether it's just vlogs or other guides and everything. However, if you do get periods, you're gonna wanna stick around. Let's, let's chat. So first thing is sanitary products. There are many, many, many out there. And obviously everyone will have their own kind of ones that they like to use. Starting off with kind of sanitary towels to tampons, to moon cups, to period underwear. It's, it's all a choice, it's all a choice. However, when you're at a, at a festival, you lack kind of two, I'd say, main things, which is privacy and running water, or at least private running water, i.e. In, in your own bathroom. So the product I would recommend taking is just normal sanitary towels. Now, yes, I know that they are not the most environmentally friendly out of all of those products. However, first off is, they're very, very easy to change, is you can just pop in a port blue, change, chuck it down the toilet, you're done. You don't have to worry about kind of storing it because the problem is if with you saying reusable pads or period underwear, they then have to sit in your tent kind of cooking for <laughs> however many days you're at the festival. And especially if you are say starting on like the, f the Wednesday, that's like five days worth of stuff. And you know, there could be a bit of a smell and it might not be the best. The same as being with something like kind of moon cups and stuff is obviously you need to clean them out. Unless you're happy with kind of emptying it and then put it back in you without cleaning it out, great. But again, there's still kind of that lack of like, you need to kind of clean it out and everything. So again, could make things a little bit more trickier when you're at a festival. And the same as being with tampons. Now with tampons, you can only keep them up you kind of in at a, for a certain amount of time or you do generally get seriously ill from it and when you're at a festival you're going to be partying you're going to be drinking you're going to be doing god knows what so you might end up actually just forgetting to take it out and obviously then that can cause a lot of serious problems so again safety reasons probably not the best idea out of everything i would recommend sanitary towels just because they sit outside the body in on, depending on where you are on your period or how heavy it is you could just leave it all day as well you don't need to worry about it and then it will as long as you carry an extra pad with you in your bag you can easily just change it in the in the toilet chuck it away and then you don't need to worry about it easy 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 the second one i'd say is more of i'd say a preference and also depends obviously what kind of sanitary products you use but comfy underwear just wear big pants Big pants that can easily say if you're using something like a pad, either disposable or reusable one, and etc, etc, etc. Ones that you don't mind getting a bit mucky. It's comfy, it's easy, and you don't, And to be honest, I think when I'm on my period, I don't really want something riding up my ass crack while I'm like, you know, in a lot of pain. I would recommend packing comfy underwear, regardless of what kind of product you use, you're using. Third is comfy or easy to hide clothes. Usually when I'm packing for a period at a festival, I usually try and avoid light coloured clothes. Probably one of the most important things, light coloured clothes. Not going to be good. What I try and pack is kind of longer shorts, skirts, dresses, something that kind of like covers everything but is also comfy as well. Because I think the worst thing is if you're wearing something really uncomfortable, something that just does irritate your skin or anything. So I usually just try and go for things like that. So very easy things. You could just wear kind of black shorts, either denim or cycle shorts, wear something over the, like, and then wear kind of a skirt or a nice top or something. You can still dress nice for a festival, but also you can be kind of practical and comfy at the same time. And also as well, if you are someone who plans your outfits in advance, plan 
off and on outfits because especially if you know that you are starting maybe could be starting halfway through the festival you've got a couple days where you can wear whatever you want you don't need to worry about anything so make sure you plan i'd say if you plan in advance plan on and off outfits or have a bit of an example so last year at download i was on my period before i went and one of my outfits uh which i'll try to remember to put a screenshot here is i wear this net kind of star dress completely see-through and then i wear a bodysuit underneath so with that bodysuit obviously i can't really wear it if i'm on my period they're just just the bodysuit so what i can do with that is i can wear kind of my big pants i can wear still wear a bodysuit but then i can put say like cycle shorts or something underneath so that i'm still kind of wearing the i'm still wearing the dress i'm still it's still kind of the same outfit i've just changed it a little bit to accommodate the fact that you know i'm going to be bleeding so you know that's kind of a poor, I'd probably say the example is of like chopping and changing outfits, making sure you've got kind of on and off outfits as well. Number four, pack painkillers or period medication. I actually do take period medication. This is prescribed by the doctor and stuff, and it's basically just extra strong ibuprofen <laughs> to put it kind of in layman's terms <laughs> but if not i would recommend just normal or bog standard ibuprofen maybe a combination of ibuprofen and paracetamol just try and relax the muscles try and get rid of that pain as best as you can because that is probably one of the worst things is the period pain because when you do that at least then you might be able to feel slightly better to be able to kind of go out of and do things number five take it easy <laughs> i know not really something that you kind of want to say at a festival especially if you're at some of the major festivals but you are going to be doing a lot of walking there is a lot going on you've got to walk to portland you've got to walk to the arena you've got to walk to the bands and stuff and that is something that is going to be tough <laughs> so when i say take it easy if there's a day where you're not seeing many bands um obviously this is depending on the festival but if there's a day you're not seeing many bands just chill in the campsite and just chill in your chair, chill in the campsite. If not, take your camping chair with you. Just curl up and go, oh. While you're kind of sat watching the bands and stuff. I started my period of trees last year and oh my God. <laughs> and I remember when I went to watch Turnstile and I remember I had to go sit down on the grass behind the sound thing. I couldn't even see the band um, because I was in so much pain. But as soon as I sat down, I felt a lot better and I could just about cope. So it was all about kind of taking it easy, just try and not stand up for too long, do too much exercise, only kind of, I'd say, do the bare minimum as well. Some of the worst days is pretty much kind of the, like the worst day possible to kind of start your period or be in the painful part of your period is on the setup day when you've got to carry all your stuff to the campsite. It is tough. I've done it. And oh God, it was so horrible. The reward of sitting down afterwards was like, oh my God, this is the best. <laughs> Again, try and take it easy. Maybe do slightly less loads. Open up to your friends and say, I'm struggling. Please, can someone help me? <laughs> and hopefully they will understand. But yes, it's it is it is really hard to do but just try and take it easy try and maybe take things a little less slower than you would as well number six eat what you want i find it really funny when i see these videos on tiktok about kind of people that are on their period and they're giving like this whole entire vlog of their day when they're eating like health food shakes and all this healthy stuff that takes ages to prepare and you're kind of sat there like mate i'm I will, and it's like i'd rather have a fat ass takeaway that i don't have to put any effort in so i can sit there and just curl up in a ball and at a festival it's really hard to eat healthy at a festival anyway but just eat what you want if you want that pizza just have that pizza just try and eat things that just make you feel a little bit better and just help that little bit do not worry about kind of the diet or anything like that because your body will save you later at this moment in time your body just needs fuel your body needs fuel to feed it then the fact that to feed all the exercise that you're doing everything that you're doing including it's on your period as well just get just get nice food in you and fuel 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 i also find as well and stuff like if you're eating food that you really like it gives you that little dopamine boost it does distract you a bit from your period as well number seven take a hot water bottle now you will need to bring something that actually makes hot water bottle or go and ask a vendor if you can have some hot water however having a hot water bottle is absolutely great because you just put some heat on there and it just 
just calms everything down and it will help just kind of like especially if say you're just sat in camp you're chilling you can just put a hot water bottle there it will just calm your uterus down and it will just relax it that little bit more and again just to help with the pain and even when you're going to sleep as well it will just again it will just help with the pain and the last one this is going to be kind of an obvious one but just try and have fun don't let the fact that you are really tired in a lot of pain bring you down <laughs> That's it. That is a few tips and tricks to deal with your period at a festival. If you found this video informative, drop a like. Also drop a comment, with, again, with any stories or anything related to this video that you'd like. And also drop a subscribe for more festival content. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!